Hey, what is up everybody? It's Ivan here and we're continuing to build an Android AI app together and I hope that uh, you know you guys got everything that you need to create like Android, Android Studio and you have downloaded the OpenCV SDK because we're about to compile OpenCV with Android Studio which is kind of similar to like how you would install uh, OpenCV in Python but it's like got a kind of couple of extra steps which that are not that intuitive so uh, before you know I dive like if you're de dealing with Android Studio for the first time before like dive into what's going on here I think we're just better you know we just go step by step and so open soon then we'll kind of begin uh, tinkering around with Android Studio and seeing what we can do so okay guys let's get started here so guys, I've downloaded uh, OpenCV uh, 3.4.5 and it's here in my folder named stuff. There this guy is. So, you know, just, you know, put put your guy wherever you kind of wanna. So we can press it here. So how do you begin to, I mean, first of all, we gotta create a new project in Android Studio. So we just go and say new project. empty activity we'll call it say Android series finish language Java that's what we're gonna be using here all right folks uh, so basically at this point we've uh, just set up like a new Android studio project which is like like that's kind of what we've done so far so now let's get it like going and like flowing and like uh, swing with like open CV and stuff. So what we gotta do here is we go to file, then we go to new, and we gotta import the module. So we import the module, and here we gotta look for open CV SDK, which is basically like here's our guy, and here we go to open CV and with SDK. We go to the SDK folder and we select the Java folder like it's important. Now, if everything's good, you should see here like OpenCV library 3, 4, 5, which is just what we need. And now Android Studio is going to make us wait some more because it's like going to build everything up. But yep, that's the first step here. And after it's finished, we're going to deal with some errors, guys. We're, we're going to like fix some errors. Yep, that's what we're, we're gonna do. Alright, so that that was like a pretty quick wait for me. And, you know, as expected, we got some errors. Now, what are like those? Um, there's basically like some weird thingy. We got the like project view. Um, basically, OpenCV in itself got some conflicting uh, scripts. And we'll build that Gradle. And Gradle is basically what uh, builds Android's app into APKs from like our code, which is kind of like the assembler guy of everything, like that's my understanding. And it's got a few conflicting lines here. Um, first of all, first of all, first of all, this, first of all, like these few lines. So, compile SDK version and target SDK version. Uh, what are like th those like SDK guys? Basically, SDKs are kind of like Android APIs, I guess you could call them. And for instance, here I have partial installed Marshmallow, like it's uh, my Android SDK that I use to uh, run apps. It's, it's, it's kind of like you see, like there are like all those versions of Android and you need, and they're like seven, eight, like nine, ten, like they're like counting up. And those are like um, two. Uh, and if you want to like build your app on your like uh, Android device, you gotta like have installed or like at least like partially installed a certain Android SDK. And when you like start your project, we also kind of define uh, the minimum and like the maximum version of Android API that our app will be working on. And, like the reason why I'm telling you like all this is, you see like here, we've said that the maximum version of Android API is like the latest Android version to this day, which is 28. And we've said that 15th is like the uh, minimal version of Android. Like it's done so that 
uh, devices that are like that are like older that may not support you know certain functionality like we're not for instance like uh, building something for like android 2.1 because like we're not some uh, really really old and in the past people i hope although if you like that's also cool with me Right, so we gotta switch here like compile SDK version to 28 because like that's what we're kind of aiming like, we're, we're like aiming for latest Android version and mean SDK version to 15 But that's like not it because OpenCV is also you can see like this beautiful error Which is not beautiful. It's horrifying when I first saw it In but back like in my days <laughs> basically uh, it says that mean SDK version should not be declared in the Android manifest file and the manifest file, an Android manifest, it's kind of like a big, like, wibbly wobbly uh, thingy where you specify, like, various Android configurations. Uh, our app has it. It has it. It has it somewhere, like. It has, it has it somewhere, like. Yep, it has it, like, here. The Android manifest of our app. But also, uh, OpenCV has it here. Let's, let's just find it. SRC main Android manifest and Android Studio is pissed because OpenCV declared these versions in its Android manifest file, which is like where you define various like permissions and stuff, like characteristics of your Android app, and we just delete this guy and then we say try again. And now it's gonna do its magic and get compiled. So okay, I hope that you know it's all pretty clear. Good so far, guys. All right, so there we have it compiled perfectly. And but our job is not yet over here, cause we fixed the errors. Now we gotta add OpenCV as a dependency for our projects that we basically would be able to import it and stuff. So we go to File, Project Structure, which is like okay. We go to dependencies here here we select app and here we gotta add a dependency add module dependency and here we pick opencv 3.4.5 we select it and yeah implementation feels right to me and we'll say apply changes so now it's gonna sync everything again, but like once it's synced, uh, you know, you go ain't gonna have to like wait like that every time. Okay, just let Android Studio do its thing. Okay guys, so, so Android Studio was actually pretty quick here, so like good job Android Studio. Now we gotta do like some pretty weird move, but like bear with me here. We go to where we kept our Android OpenCV SDK. We'll go to the SDK folder, native, and here we have like this folder, lips, lips, not limbs, and not lips, but lips, which also sounds like lips in my pronunciation, which is like, okay. We, we, we copy the libs folder, copy this guy, and we gotta go to app. Again, it's like project view here. If you have like Android view, just like the project view right here. Um, go to app src main, and we're gonna just open this guy up in Explorer. Main, and we gotta paste the libs folder right here and but it's like it's like not it you know we gotta paste it here then we gotta rename it into into j and i lips how cool is that right <laughs> okay so and this folder basically got like a bunch of files that help it to work and probably you know get built on various devices and stuff like that yeah but that's not it guys because there's like one last thing we gotta declare the permissions so, so that we can basically request using camera uh, on, on the smartphone from our app. So remember how I was like talking that, you know, there's like Android manifest and kind of put all the uh, useful, you know, like all the useful 
like you kind of declare like a thing or two there, right? Like it's a manifest. You ask for permissions there, and you you know specify some uh, some options about your app. So we go to src main android manifest, and what we're gonna specify is uh, this line here with permissions that we can use camera, and it's basically like inside of its own like separate block. It's a dot xml file, and so, we should now should be able to basically use OpenCV in our Java code. Uh, but before we like do that, um, so basically when you work with Android Studio, from like my experience, at least like in a, this case, uh, probably in a lot of others, maybe too, you'll spend like 90%, like we'll spend, you know, 90% of our time uh, in main activity uh, that Java, which is basically where you can write like all the code. And then there's also activity main that XML, and in our case, like it's empty because we have like generated it to be empty. But this is kind of where you specify the design, like all the various buttons that you want your app to work with. And in the main activity, you kind of write like all the code. So basically, it's like two files. You know, uh, often if you want to like send somebody like your app, you just copy like two files. Like me and my friend just did that. We just copy your main activity, copy your activity main that XML and kind of roll with it you know so now what's cool is that we can go here and import org uh, open which is kind of how you import things in Java for those of you who come from, come from Python just like I have come from open and here we have like Android Kali 3d core DNN module which is like the greatest thing about open CV uh, actually like there are a lot of good things but this is like one of my favorites you know, allows us to run all the uh, deep learning, you know, TensorFlow, Darknet, PyTorch, Cafe, whatever, like, you want. Here we have, like, MG Codex, so let's say, for instance, in GNN, we have, like, here, Net. So, you can see, like, we, we should be able to start importing things. So, it's, if it's, like, working for you guys, then, uh, yeah, you got this. Great job, right? So, yeah, and we'll... And that's kind of it for this video and we're gonna continue to build the AI app and we're gonna like get our hands dirty and set up like all the camera views that we can actually display the camera and get OpenCV to like to work. Um, Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you've gotten this far then, uh, you know, like great job. I mean, we're gonna continue like actually getting our hands dirty and like uh, setting up the cameras and stuff in the next video. Also, hope that you'll, you know, have your USB cables. Uh, by your side for the next videos because we're gonna get finally uh, to work with you know the actual devices and smartphones and if you've gotten this far and if you're like getting value out of this smash that like button leave your comments and i'll like jump in and i'll talk to you i'll reply to like every comment and if you are like in a position if you wanna you can support me and like links on how to do that in the description uh thank you if you do and do not forget to subscribe, and I hope that you guys are having a great day, night, morning, or evening, or lunch, if that's like your thing. Bye.